and not quite the last, but one more hand for Matt Rucker. Carried the tight fucking torch for a little longer than I could do it. Way longer than I could do it. And Shabazz. Where is Shabazz? Shabazz. Oh, yeah, the, the lyrics to that last song were just fucking hilarious, man. <laughs> I'm just going to read some older stuff. Um, I can see you're coming down like a feather shaking loose, orphaned, crash landing on a street with heavy traffic, and the asshole didn't even leave you a bus fare. And I know, I know, it's a mess, what's left of it. I know, I've seen it happen in the mirror. But listen, it's okay. There's enough refracted light around to salvage your necessary parts. I'll help. Like I said, I've had experience with this sort of thing. We can get you wired together. So what he took your radio and the finest stuff you've ever written? You don't need it tonight. That's extra weight is all. You don't think so? Yes, but, yes, but. Yes, it hurts like a misplaced child, and yeah, there will always be those times when you wake up calling out the sweetheart name he loaned you. But tonight, breathe easy, dream well, travel light. Roll down your window and check out the view. It ain't gonna cost you. We don't need to fuck with ownership. I got a set of name most pliers. I can show you how to hotwire a car. We can go for a ride. It's free. I wrote this, there was this contest when I was in prison. Yes, I was in prison, you know. Uh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> this is called, and this is why we're here. I mean, this is education, okay? This is called Why Johnny Don't Rhyme. You should read poetry because it's good for you. It is rich in vitamins B and Q. And though it's true you'll never see a poem as lovely as a tree, it's also true you ought to know that diarrhea will make things grow if you spread this shit around. <laughs> Brian Engel. Yeah. Yes. Brian Engel was a regular here. Fucking genius. You know, and I actually ran into him and his son, and he's not drinking anymore. He looks like he's drinking, but he's not. Uh, but fucking genius. I wrote this for Brian. It's called Queen. This kind of, I like, this is kind of the style. I, yeah, okay, a cop Brian style, okay? I cannot emulate her voice. I can't whistle and I can't fly yet. Raindrops splashing off her shoulders. Build puddles where the poems I'll never finish land. Fresh cut like alfalfa, the neap of cricket smell of sweet sixteen. The florist down on Jackson throws out roses. Steam rises from her nostrils, making clouds the hidden moon, the way she runs like thunder or the reverb of a thousand hooves, the smoke and drawl, the tongue of soul food kitchen, pass the salt and have some collard greens. Tiny wings seduce the wreath's ear while butterflies are on their way. Uh, a lot of family things. This is two, one for my father, one for my brother. This is called Epitaph from my father who died a few years back. Uh, most of all, thank you for the jokes. It was all star wrestling matches. Been lifetime since our dust has settled. And they're still laughing. If I got like an extra minute, this is for Doug, my brother. Um, I'll tell you a true story about that. Okay, you ever stood in a, like a long line, you know, wanting to buy some piece of shit that <laughs> you might or might not need? It was Christmas and somebody else might or might not need. But you gotta have it because, you know, you're gonna feel guilty if you show up with nothing. And you want to just get out of there, you know? So my brother Doug, like you're next in line, he comes up and goes, Hey there, sinner. The Lord tells me that I need to speak with you. And they remember, they, they forgot something in the store and they leave. They just move right up the line. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and this is for Doug. <laughs> Shepherd roads a good one. Very few cops. 
It winds a serpent, just cracked from the shell, running down river and filling New Orleans. It's a decent spot to watch the stars treading water in the night, winking out about the same as cities in the flood. But I've never been to New Orleans, though I did have a girlfriend once who let me borrow her right little number dressed in black, and I opened her up on Shepherd Road like a levee, shedding a blouse, a bra, panties in her wake. My brother actually landed there in the French Quarter when he was fresh from the closet, at the first good lay of his life, two blocks from the Ursuline Convent. It was nothing but dick, 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 whiskey, and more dick, man! Like winning a one-way ticket fresh out of cunt stink hell! Oh well, I cracked up her car on one of those hairpins doing 90, 95 or so, and that bathhouse where you turn into a real life southern man, bro, went down beneath the lappings of Katrina. Now that girlfriend is history and your pretty boys have gone away with AIDS or back into storage, but I managed just the other night to lug my ass to the old good shepherd, got bit by that sharp December wind. It was a bit like God talking trash, as if he were our baby mama. As if we could, we could suck his nipples, if you and I could nurture our family name, grow a city in our likeness, drown in our passion, and still be hard. Oh yeah, after all these years I believe we've earned a stiff shot or two of faith. I heard you found a, yourself a church, Dougie. Some place where the angels wear no clothes house to withstand the hurricanes of other Christians, where you can lay on the hands and burn the way you please. Hope you're getting off on it. And as for the weather, it would be nice if it blew in a meaningful direction, if it guided us gently to our graves, but it doesn't. That is why we have to be here, our dreams wet and barren now. Could be there ain't no gospel. Moaning scriptures like a lover through a tailpipe down the road. Maybe there is nothing in the wind except the wind. Amen, little brother.